What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back! For this camera comparison we have the brand new iPhone 14. This is the cheapest iPhone 14 that you can buy and then we have the Samsung Galaxy S22. Of course this is the cheapest Samsung Galaxy S22 that um, you can buy. So I'm currently recording with the front facing cameras on both devices. Both devices can do 4K at 60 frames per second with those um, front facing cameras but for this particular recording I'm only doing 4K at 30 frames per second. We're gonna turn around here. I'm also gonna walk a bit faster so you can see how that stabilization um, works on both devices. And as you've noticed, I'm also switching the audio from one phone to the other so you can see which one picks up the sound a, a bit better. Now, it is a bit windy out here and we also have some traffic um, around so you may hear that aside um, from my voice. Okay, so we are gonna start by checking out some two times zoom pictures and then we're gonna move on to some five times zoom pictures and a bunch of other pictures after that. So let's start with those five times uh, and two times zoom pictures. Alright, so for the two times zoom pictures that you are seeing on your screen right now, both devices are basically using digital zoom. Even though we have a telephoto lens on the back of the S22, well, that's a three times telephoto lens, so it cannot use it for two times um, zoom. So what you're seeing is basically digital zoom. Now, if you look at those pictures, you're gonna notice that the pictures from the iPhone 14 are way over sharpened. So personally, I don't like that look at all, but I do like the colors that um, we got in the pictures from um, the iPhone 14. But for two times zoom pictures, I feel that the S22 overall um, does better. Now, moving on to five times zoom pictures. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have a telephoto lens on the back of the Samsung Galaxy S22. And since we have that, of course, every single picture that you're gonna do five times um, zoom basically will be better from the Samsung Galaxy S22. I mean, there is no comparison because the iPhone 14 has to do digital zoom um, all the way. So if you plan on zooming on um, certain things to take pictures, the Samsung Galaxy S22 will do better than the iPhone 14 in my opinion. Next we're moving on and checking out portrait mode pictures. And this is gonna sound kind of funny. If you want the pictures that look closer to reality, well, you're probably gonna prefer the pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S22. Because those pictures actually look a bit closer to what um, I was seeing with my own eyes. The iPhone does seem to make those pictures more Instagram ready, I'm gonna say. As for the edge jump detection around the subject, well, it seems that the Samsung Galaxy S22 does um, a bit better than the iPhone 14. Now, if I would be to choose the pictures that I like the way they look, well, me personally, I feel that I like the pictures from the iPhone 14 because I don't really have to edit them at all. They're kind of um, done for Instagram. Um, so I do prefer the portrait mode pictures from the iPhone 14, but definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Which ones do you like? The ones from the iPhone or the ones from the Samsung Galaxy S22? Next, we're moving on and checking out some pictures that I took with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices. And the first thing I've noticed here is the fact that the iPhone 14 oversaturates those pictures. There are a couple of those pictures that I took with the ultra wide cameras that have very strange looking colors because they're just oversaturated. So for me personally, I do prefer all the colors for um, the pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S22 for the ultra wide cameras, not to mention the dynamic range in those pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S22 is also better. So for the ultra wide camera, I feel that the Samsung Galaxy S22 will do better than the iPhone 14. Next, we're moving on to pictures that I took with the main cameras on the back of the two devices. All the pictures are taken on auto mode and about a second apart from each other. So the same thing kind of keeps going that um, we've seen for the ultra wide cameras. So the iPhone 14 oversaturates um, most of those pictures. Now, in all fairness, I'm using um, the iPhone 14 on the vibrant mode. So if I would turn it to natural, those colors would become less um, saturated. So I have to mention that um, as well. Now, it also seems that the iPhone 14 over sharpens those pictures a bit, something that I haven't actually noticed for the iPhone 13, the previous iPhone. So I'm not a big fan of that. As for the dynamic range in those pictures, it seems that the uh, Samsung Galaxy S22 does better than the iPhone 14 in pretty much all um, the pictures. But what do you guys um, think? Which pictures do you prefer the most? Do you like the ones from the iPhone 14 or the ones from the Samsung Galaxy S22? Once again, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. 
Alright, and next we're gonna move on and check out some nighttime pictures that I took with both devices. Of course, both devices support a night mode for the main camera and for the ultra wide camera, and we are starting with the pictures that I took with the main cameras and the night mode. Alright, so after looking at the nighttime pictures that I took, of course, using the night modes on both devices for the main camera as well, it seems that the Samsung Galaxy S22 doesn't do that great if it doesn't have any light. So in a couple of those pictures, it was super dark. And in those pictures, the iPhone 14 does seem to do better. Now, if you do have some street lights around you, the S22 does take some um, pretty nice um, looking pictures as well. So I really think it comes down to how much light you have around you. Most people are going to take pictures in situations where there is some light um, around them. So I feel that the S22 will do great um, in those um, situations. But for the main camera, because it does do a bit better when it's super dark, I personally feel that the iPhone 14 will do slightly better. Well, I guess it depends where you're taking um, pictures. So yeah, that's um, about it for um, the main camera and um, the night mode. As for the ultra wide cameras, well, here it seems that um, even though the Samsung Galaxy S22 is not great, uh, every single picture is definitely better than um, the picture that I took with the iPhone 14. So most pictures are sharper and um, a little bit brighter from the Samsung Galaxy S22. So it will do better with that um, ultra wide camera. But once again, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Which phone do you prefer for nighttime pictures? Alright, so next we're gonna move on and check out some sample videos that I took with the S22 and of course with the iPhone 14. Now, compared to last year's iPhone 13, I did notice an improvement for um, the microphone um, recordings from the iPhone 14. So now it picks up the sound much better when compared to the iPhone 13. And also the stabilization for video recording seems to be better than last um, year. So next I'm going to let you guys watch the comparison in between the two devices and once again let me know your thoughts um, about the video quality. For me I still feel that the iPhone 14 is better um, for video recordings than the Samsung Galaxy S22. Alright, we have a quick video test between the iPhone 14 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S22. For this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Both devices can also do 4K at 60 frames per second and actually with the Samsung Galaxy S22 we can also do 8K at 24 frames per second, something that the iPhone 14 cannot do. So at this resolution, well actually at all resolutions, um, both devices have um, image stabilization and as you can see for yourself I am rocking um, right now just so you can see how that stabilization um, works. We're just going to walk it this way, we're going to stop here and pan right slowly and we'll keep going and walk this way and to the left after we go down um, these stairs. Let's run for a second and we'll turn right. So yeah, this is how the stabilization works on these two devices if you would be running. So main cameras 4K at 30 frames per second between the iPhone 14 and the Samsung Galaxy S22. Alright, and we are moving on to another quick recording between the iPhone 14 and um, of course the Samsung Galaxy S22. For this recording I'm using the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices and recording once again in 4K at 30 frames per second. As I mentioned earlier you could also do 4K at 60 frames per second um, with the ultra wide cameras. We're gonna walk this way, I'm gonna walk a bit faster so you can see how the stabilization uh, works when walking a bit faster. I think we're gonna stop somewhere around here and we'll pan right slowly. So yeah, this is how recording done with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second would look like on a super sunny day. I also wanted to do a quick recording with the main cameras and 4K at 60 frames per second. I know that a lot of people do like that um, 4K at 60 frames per second resolution. Once again, at this resolution, both devices have um, image stabilization. We'll actually go down these stairs. So main cameras and 4K at 60 frames per second. We're gonna cross the street somewhere around here. And uh, 
head to the right basically. So I'm just gonna stop here in the shade and we'll pan left slowly, so kind of towards that house. So yeah, 4K at 60 frames per second um, with the main cameras on the back of the iPhone 14 and the Samsung Galaxy S22. Alright, and we are moving on to a quick recording in low light between the iPhone 14 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S22. For this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So I'm gonna pan right, we are gonna walk this way, nice and slow. I'm trying to keep the phones as steady as possible as well. So I think we'll pan right this way. We do have some street lights, so it's not complete uh, darkness, of course. So yeah, main cameras 4K at 30 frames per second. Okay, and we are moving on to a quick recording done with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices. So I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and looking at the screens here, I can barely see anything. So I don't think either device does uh, great uh, with the ultra wide cameras. Now we can see a bit more because we have um, some street lights. But yeah, the ultra wide cameras are definitely not meant for uh, low light recordings. So what do you guys think about those video recordings? Do you like the S22 or the iPhone? Now I feel that the iPhone is still the king for video recordings. This has been the case for around five, six, seven years. And I don't see that changing um, anytime soon. But again, that's just my opinion. And if you think that the S22 does better for video recordings, that's also fine. Next we are going to move on and check out some selfies, of course we are starting with some daytime selfies and here surprise surprise every single picture that I took with the iPhone 14 seems to look better than uh, the exact same picture that I took with the Samsung Galaxy S22. So for daytime selfies, yes, um, the iPhone 14 does better, as for nighttime selfies, realistically none of them does that great. So for a couple of pictures the S22 seems to do better, for a couple the iPhone 14 seems to do better. So there you have it, the new iPhone 14 and the Samsung Galaxy S22. Which one would you buy for um, its cameras? Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.